two, spit on that thing. Hawk two, spit on that thing. I could have been a good southern bumpkin spitting on that thing. Hawk two. Spit on that thing. I, I took the plunge and uh, had the time of my life. I finally took the plunge. And you know what? Feels great. What's up, guys? This is your host, The Hunt. Joining me, as always, my lovely bumpkin, Riley T. Say what's up, dude. <laughs> that caught me off guard. Why would that catch you off guard? You We're know, just down here in southern Georgia, maybe Albeit, Mobile, Alabama. Hawk. Spitting on these things. <laughs> Cheers, brother. Yeah, we're champions. We are champions. We're champions. Wee! This episode's coming as you. Hot off a win. Hot off the Oilers game seven. Maybe win. one of the most historic it, game sevens of all time. It's the greatest series and comeback in NHL history that you your team just completed. One of four. This would be the fourth one. Yeah, on the uh, first one since uh, Hitler. No, it was no, it was si- forty two. It was forty. I thought it was, was forty two. That can't be not forty two. I don't have my phone. I think that might be the Stanley Cup. <laughs> <laughs> you got I me like bump- you-, <laughs> <laughs> you accidentally bumpkined me. I think that the last time it was three out, come back three four. Sit on that thing. Were you really not expecting that for the intro? No, I really wasn't. Really? I thought we were going to go right in from holes into Hawk to spit on that thing re- dubstep remix. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we did not. Hawk to. Instead, we're here with champions. My 18 time. I thought it was so 14. Many, it's 18. That's nice. 18 time. Oilers are probably pretty NBA up there. champ. They're not. Oilers? The Oilers had, like, a good five years when Wayne Gretzky was there. And Paul Coffey, yeah. Yeah, that was it. Why do I always think Korea was all on the Oilers? He wasn't. He was on the Ducks. That was the team he was known for. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. All I know is one thing and one thing only, and that's numero... N- you know. Nueve. <laughs> Spit on that thing. Spit on that thing, girls, taking over the world. What a week for her. I liked how there was like a few days where the internet was trying to find her. They did find her. She had they to did. delete her social media. Yeah. Well, no, I think she deleted it and then was like, wait, I'm going to profit. Mm. Now she's signing merch. Step one. Spitting on. Hawk two. <laughs> Step two. Spit on that thing. Step There's a three, lucky man out profit. there. <laughs> <laughs> Who is the start of a viral sensation? Lauren, are you telling me? I can't. I don't know if I can ask this. <laughs> You're going to ask Lauren if she's ever hot to spit on that thing. I don't <laughs> my think I'm going to get a, tre- a good answer. My dog's on a treadmill right now. Sorry, she's No, distracted. I'm going to ask it. Lauren, you telling me you've never hot to spit on that thing before? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying, he that guy got such phenomenal head that even she was like, I give the best head I need to tell everyone. That's the, the Thanos confidence. That's hubris right there. That's <laughs> hawk tubris. Just get the <laughs> fuck out of here. <laughs> hawk tubris. Damn. Did I you also, just put dog in her cage? She even react? <laughs> Why is it not flat? We're drinking celebratory peach palmies. Cheers. Hey, brother. Cheers. Cheers to our championships. I'm definitely not getting drunk tonight because the game hasn't even happened, but. Listen, we predicted Aaron Rodgers' ACL. We predi- when? when we were live. No, Nick we pre- Chubb. We did both. 
We did. We're really we are sports Stradamus. The Sam PC, the podcast formerly known as Sam PC, thinks they're sports Stradamus. We're sports Stradamus. Are we the 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 what is it? The plunge effect. Yeah, that's nice. Splash, splash, splash. Hot. <laughs> that's kind of crazy. Can we predict who? And please let it be me, Jimmy Carter. That's. That man's, we've already gone over this. He's not awake most days. <laughs> we haven't gone over it. He is not awake most days, which is not is that a just th- a personal conversation. Yeah, between it's not you a thing you want. You don't want to be known as not awake most days. That being a headline. Can you imagine how good that honk schnoo is, though? Dude, Multi day he's, he's not even honk shooing. He's honk shoe mimi meeing. He's, he's in such a he's deep mimi. sleep. He's a and each mimi shoo. is like mimi, 12 mimi, hours, mimi, mimi. dude. <laughs> Hi, Winnie girl. My puppy continually is getting bigger, as they do. Um, she's chomping on pillows. She's chomping on pillows. She isn't. She didn't chomp on me today. She tried to, but I tricked her and she bit her own foot. Yeah, we began. Tr- uh, I haven't began. She doesn't bite me that much. Uh, when she bites Lauren, Lauren goes and hides in the laundry room where she can't get her, and then she gets sad. That's she called hits her, negative reinforcement. She hits That's her good. with. She hits her with sadness. <laughs> no, no, no. I, that's <laughs> the best thing that you could do. Bite you? I, guess that's the between and I mean, it's different when you're playing with her and she nips at you because before it seemed like she was just going crazy, like just trying to chomp. And My Achilles are thankful that she stopped being a, a shark. She is going for you boobs may, right now, I which I can appreciate. Say, you may have spoke too soon. <laughs> <laughs> can you do that into the mic? <laughs> Your go-to please. stop, please. It works. Do it. That's <laughs> so good. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just be in the other room and I'll just hear, ah! and then she. Yeah, well, I can picture what Winnie. Every time Lauren does it, she goes. <laughs> She's like, "Mom would never dare yell at me." What is this noise? She does a, a little, a little ah! step back. I do have the cutest dog. I'm sorry for all my friends and. Do we talk family. about what the vet did to your sweet, sweet girl? They clipped her her fucking penis. They clipped her penis, dude. <laughs> If by going to the vet, <laughs> you mean clipping, clipping my, my peanuts. peanuts? Well, yeah, the groomer clipped their peanuts, dude. That's tough. So she had a little hair dong before, right? I remember that. Just a. We she used to lay on her back and be like, "Look at this shit. Look at this dong." <laughs> yeah. yeah, she was, dude. My dog was trans before it was cool. <laughs> <laughs> During Pride Month? It's not Pride Month. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Uh, she had a little hair dong, a little peanuts. A little hair tuff. And that... we went to get her a, a puppy groom because her butthole was disgusting and hair was covering her eyes. So we got went to get her a little cleanup. I do miss her little tuft of hair in her eyes. They chopped off her peanuts. <laughs> and since they chopped off her peanuts, she's been going nuts. Where'd you take her? Pussy clips? <laughs> Super clits. <laughs> sports clits? Yeah, sports clits. <laughs> Not dudes. <laughs> that's a Manchester only joke. <laughs> that's a, no, that's a hooks it. Hooks it only joke, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they clip their peanuts, and I think they, they hit her. <laughs> I need to tell this. <laughs> Lauren calls the, ve- so she's been. Just munching on her own box nonstop since the groomer. It's been almost yeah, a week self fellatio. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I seen it. like she's rubbing it raw. She's rubbing that shit raw. Rick it, rick it, rick it raw. I okay. bet. <laughs> yeah. All right. And <laughs> yeah, we're on fire this episode. <laughs> so we called the vet to be like, "Hey." So Lauren goes, "Hi, I'm just calling about yada yada yada," and they go, "Oh, what happened?" She's like, "Well, we brought her to the groomer, and since then." She's been licking her, um, her, what's the fucking word? Her labia. Can you tell me? I'll say Not it. her labia. Uh, <laughs> she her goes, vulva. her, um, and there's just a pause. Laura trying to be like, how do I tell this medical professional vagina? She goes, her vulva? <laughs> and me and Logan just look at each other in the background It just start dying. Can I ask, is that a part of the vagina you even knew about? Uh, I've known the name. I'm familiar with the name. 
Are you being completely honest, or are you just I'm trying familiar. to be like, I've seen a vagina? I just started talking into my cup. <laughs> I'm familiar <laughs> with the name. And uh, and then the doctor immediately goes, or not, like they talk, and they're like, so it's her vagina? And Laura's like, y- yeah. <laughs> That's, you said that to another person. You said a vulva to a medical professional. <laughs> well, that's the medical term for a part of the vagina. And they were like, yo, that dog hey, licking there are pussy. women who get estrogen cream, and I have to, in black and white text, write, apply a pea-sized amount to vulva nightly. Like P-E-A. Yeah. Nice. Oh, look at this dog. That's dog fucking likes crazy, keys. by the way. The vulva. Talking about dog pussy to another person is crazy. Like, objectively, is crazy. You talking to me or her? Anyone. Because I'm telling the internet. <laughs> uh, dude, I'm a champion. I d- you cannot bring me down. <laughs> F- fucking me, too. Yeah, dude, hell yeah, that bro. Is, <laughs> that's what's up. An immovable object versus an unstoppable force is what Can I tell you is. a secret, brother? Yeah. I don't want to watch Bond anymore. <laughs> I'm not allowing you to skip or watch I'm anything. through 11. They haven't gotten better. They won't. I know. <laughs> Unless you had, se- I've seen a my, lot. Of- you know, my issue is this motherfucker named Jason Almy throughout the years has been preaching that it's the perfect franchise. No matter who the Bond, it's they're all great. Don't even. They talk all shit. stink. Don't talk shit on Almy because he didn't, or he 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 was aware of the fucking jetpack at the beginning. The jetpack was crazy from Russia with love, or, or you nah. only live twice. I don't even know anymore. Someone has returned home. Yeah, Jasmine's home. Um, I don't know, man. Dude, I'm going to order the sickest McDonald's order at like 9.45. After you're a champion? I'm already a champion. You are already a champion. But yes, when when I'm a champion. I have a strong feeling that I'm going to be sleeping here tonight. (laughs) No, they've played. Hunter's a champion. They they won. This is currently... Would you like a mic? Can you be on the podcast? Why? Come chill in the corner with the dog. In the corner. You can watch the dog over here. She do be a little crazy right She's now. a crazy little puppy. Yeah, you I'm got so producer sick of Lolo. Pond. Well, she can't. She's a dog. Her Volvo got snipped. That's true. Her her fucking dong is gone. Hello, girl. What do you got to say? Yeah, I agree. Me too. Yep. Spoken She's like got a- good takes that Winifred B do. What's mid- what's her middle name? Beauregard? Bimgus. <laughs> Do you have a birth c- certificate for her? Dude, we don't even We're have fucking... We're killing this week, by the way. We don't have paperwork for this bitch. Our groomer, the one... The lady... Not groomer. The kennel master, of course. Sucked. <laughs> this woman... And she Isn't was... Isn't it like I'm, your fucking family member? Yes. She was my... It's my cousin's boyfriend's mom. This woman. So you're not related to her. I'm not directly related to her, no. I'm not even in a second form related to her. You but might be related to, like, most people. That's true. I am related to a lot. We might be related. I don't know. No way. My family's small as hell. You are French. Yeah, you have a common last name, too. But I'm not a real Marcou. <laughs> oh? Go on. The where my grandfather Did your dad take your mom's maiden name? Is no, he no, one no, of those? No, no. My mom's maiden I know name one is of those. Nora. That guy's <laughs> gay as hell. <laughs> <laughs> no, the name Marcou, where it comes from in my family, comes from my grandfather. Okay. Grandfather was adopted. <laughs> Wait, so what are you? <laughs> I don't know. A mutt? <laughs> Damn, dude, you're a fake French? You're yeah, fr- you're a fake frog? No, you look at me, I'm French. You're frog, yeah, you got some frog in you, bro. But it's just, I'm I just I don't know f- if I'm like real French or French Canadian. You're fake frog, my brother. Are you French Canadian? Yeah, I'm French Canadian. I look kind of like we have similar yeah. features. Yeah, you're hey, brother, you're French Canadian. I'm frog, yeah. <laughs> yeah you're frog, brother. Ribbit, I ribbit. Do, yeah. Dude, I say that shit at work all the time. People are like, brother, we have, we have I'm a like, couple. I'm one of them. I can say it. Why is it? Why is it? <laughs> Why <laughs> phrases can't be racist? I don't think that I was wrong when I asked you earlier if you were drunk. When you were coming home. It, I was drunk this weekend. We went to the Hardy concert. Dude. The whole gang. How, were you genuinely upset when I actually put that on my story? You were fighting fucking demons in that. You put photo. something on your story? <laughs> I don't have my. I have a. 
<laughs> open up wolves. You kept, not wolves. Open up. You kept uh, taking TTB. screenshots of my face and then up zooming close. in. Yeah, I didn't like it. The uh, if you go back, the very first photo that you sent, I think, was most certainly peak drunk. <laughs> this one. Yes. <laughs> Like that's at the be- <laughs> at the beginning of the show. So you sent that picture, and then I zoomed in. And I said the last thing your sh- your beer sees before you crush it. <laughs> I didn't have a single beer that night. I put so I put that with that same caption on my story, but then you sent another one that was way worse, <laughs> and I didn't put it on my story. And then you said, "Hey." Fuck you! I'm just trying to see my darling, sweet baby girl, and then yeah. I was like, I'm not even. Gonna yeah, make I sent a photo being sad because Brian wouldn't send a photo of my sweet, darling baby girl. He was Dude, you were literally it. like, <laughs> audio podcast, but Riley was just looking drunk as hell. I was drunk as hell. <laughs> fighting That's, demons. Yeah, I was not fighting demons. I was fighting fucking tunes, brother. I was fighting. I was fighting the melody. I was fighting my finger from doing the doo wop, brother. <laughs> Hitting the doo up in the year of our Lord 2024 <laughs> might actually be illegal. Hitting the doo up at a country metal concert. Did you hit the Charleston for two minutes straight? <laughs> no, dude, I could never hit the Charleston for four <laughs> minutes straight. What's that fucking kid's name? I don't Doctor, know. Dr. Uh, something. Dr. Doofenshmirtz. Dr. Earthenstein or something. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's the man. No, we went to the Hardy concert. Me, Bubba. Bubba's parents. Jasmine. Bubba's sister. Do you have a sister? <laughs> no, she does. I'm pretty, I don't know. <laughs> I'm really tired. You're I think it's because I'm not enough. drunk, but I you think. You have a drink. You're probably feeling good. You had that Yeah, one, but I'm one also, I think I'm really unwind. tired. So I'm, I think I have tired brain. Dude, I slept for like 11 hours yesterday. Same. Today. It's fucking sick. Same. I, I rarely don't set an alarm for like quarter of seven. Bubba's brother, by the way. What? And then Jasmine. And nice. Logan, we Logan. had eight of us. I oh, brought the, it was Logan Squared. Was Logan Squared? I should have made that joke during Quip. Speaking of Quiplash, <laughs> I got beef with you. Have beef with me? No, oh. Lauren's whole family. Why? <laughs> no one voted for taking <laughs> thirty-one Benadryl and meeting the Hat Man. <laughs> that was maybe the funniest answer of the night. I there was one. I don't even know the I prompt, but you said taking thirty-one. It was your worst nightmare that you or something about your. <laughs> Sleep paralysis demon or your worst thing. Your worst season. nightmare. And you said taking 31 Benadryl and meeting the hat man. <laughs> I was crying and everyone else was like, come. That's funny. Yeah, yeah come. <laughs> like type shit. <laughs> and I was like, are you guys? They're all talking about that. Word. I'm sitting in the I'm in the corner fighting for my life, <laughs> vouching for my husband. I go, are you guys? not seeing 31 benadryl for the hat man you really Are did you- i didn't say a word and then just out of the like it, it hadn't you, even been yeah, voted on when, you go are we not gonna acknowledge 31 <laughs> benadryl in meeting the hat man well because it's one of those when it's your own prompt and quiplash especially when you have a good one like that you want to be you I want i was gonna hit. you want someone to say it out loud so then like the whole room laughs and just no one Nothing. was acknowledging yours and it, I was was like, si- it was a silent room they were just—they read the first one. They're like, "Huh, go into the farm naked," <laughs> and then I'm just sitting here going, 31 Benadryl <laughs> and meeting the Hat Man." People, <laughs> look at it, acknowledge it. That was the only really one take that I, it in. I had worked that day. That was the only answer that I actively tried on. The rest of them, I was just—it was just tits McFoobs, <laughs> tits, McFoobs. <laughs> tits McFoobs, and meeting the Hat Man. Other uh, and men, men was good. I don't remember Ben. It was uh, liking these three things is ground to oh, take away your you cool just put card. One. And I put one thing, and yeah. all it said was men. I like when you and me play those games because we have a 100% hit rate on each other. <laughs> I'm never getting quiplashed if you're in the room. No. <laughs> We're never winning. We're never competing. We're not. It's We're sim- throwing out fucking take 31 Benadryl and meet the hat, man. <laughs> that, one, that, that was a genuinely funny... <laughs> At least to me, I thought that shit was funny. You don't even have to be, like, pharmacy or pharmacy adjacent. 31 Benadryl meeting the hat man is objectively <laughs> the funniest sentence ever assembled. I got that from, like, fucking online memes, I don't know, a year ago. And I sat down and really just went, yeah, it's time to bring back the hat man. <laughs> For reference of how drunk I got Saturday night tailgating, uh, this was a full bottle <laughs> 
This is, is a that, handle. Is that a new bottle? Yeah, this is a handle a I bought Saturday morning. <laughs> also, Lauren's dad's the funniest fucking human on the planet. Yeah, shout out, John. Uh, he helped me demolish this bottle. That's sick as It hell. was just me and him slamming peach palmies under a vibes. tent. And it has a fez on top. That's sick as hell. And now we're going to watch. Oh, you leave the fun stopper in. I mean, I've, it's only existed for fucking a day and a half. That's fair. That's nice. You making these strong? So pre gaming the pre gaming the oilies? Yeah. Yeah. I'm still working on one. I haven't eaten today. So I had like a bite of chicken, but that's about it. Yeah. Yeah, the elixir, dude. You might actually become the potion seller. Potion seller. I'm the potion master. No, you're the potion I'm Snape, seller. brother. I'm the half blood prince. <laughs> <laughs> you got nothing for me. <laughs> Dude, name <laughs> name a movie you would want to see. I would I would want to see 31 Benadryl meeting the hat man and the half blood prince. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see Paddington 3. <laughs> what does that come out? Uh this fall. Damn. Well, I'm why am I saying damn? I can still go and see that movie with you. you. I got to watch 1 and 2 then. I saw the end of two. Two's great. Two's good. I think I'm going to get a Paddington tattoo when summer's over. That's sick as hell. It's to Is remind that your first independent tattoo? I think so. It's going to remind me to not... I, may, I might get a marmalade sandwich. Who knows? Or maybe Paddington with a marmalade sandwich. It's to remind me to stop being a cunt. That's been my... That's why I want I can it. think of someone who I who needs that. Me. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let the hate flow through you, brother. <laughs> Uh, no, it's to remind me to stop. That'll be on my fuck around leg, though. Are you going to get real tattoos? <laughs> yeah, I want to get my As family crest with some roses around it on my arm. This one? Hey, that's is, a real tattoo. That is a real tattoo. It. Ha- I don't want to offend you with this one. Don't say it. <laughs> Out of respect, I will not say it. Say it. This is my designated shit leg. Yeah, of course, dude. <laughs> I just told you I'm going to get a fucking marmalade tattoo on my <laughs> shit leg. What are you talking about? Are you going to get tatted the fuck up? No. Or are you just getting like... I'll probably get like three. I, my... I'm i a pussy. I'll probably get some sort of children tattoo when I have them. That doesn't make... Getting a tattoo inherently means that you are, in fact, not a pussy. I'm <laughs> gay as hell. Well, yeah, you're married to a guy, but... I should get us kissing with you covered in peanut butter with the goggles on. That would be fucking actually crazy. That's a, a crazy person thing to do. <laughs> that would go. What's that the, tattoo? That's me and my best friend kissing. That would go on the back of the thigh. I can't see that every time I poop. I can't do <laughs> it. <laughs> Lauren can't see that every time you get down to business. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> that one's relegated to the forgotten zone. <laughs> she only has to see it when she eats my balls from behind. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> that's a joke. I'm not that drunk. <laughs> that's a joke. That's funny though. That was very funny. Yeah. I, I was. You weren't even thinking dude, I that was angle. flipping through the the mental Rolodex for something to say back, and it was just <laughs> <laughs> nothing. Just nothing to say to that. I'm just speaking like a champ. Lauren's a nice woman. <laughs> I'm just speaking like a champion, bro. True, dude. You are. See a champion. me. You I'm actually see. a champion. So <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> My team had. What a fumble by the Panthers. Do you like every time that the Oilers have won a game, I ask Taylor where he's at on the panic Z- button? No. He has not texted once since you know the, the Oilers. You the guy who, like, is... Wait, 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 real, real quick. Taylor has not responded in the chat he's once. He's going to say something if they win tonight, Since though. they've been up 3 nothing. Smells like bitch in here. Not to you talking That's about... Taylor? Yeah. Hello, puppy girl. Hello, Lauren, as well. That's who I was talking to. Oh, hello, yeah. Winnie. <laughs> I think you are. <laughs> Yo, Winnie's kind of like Winnie's kind of a demon. Park, yeah, <laughs> she quick. Winnie's healthy. the sweetest demon on the planet. Well, she, here she is. Does she have something in her mouth that she needs to come out? I think she dropped it. I think it was that piece of paper. Podcast dog. What's up, little demon? Winnie, what do you have to say? <laughs> she just sniff the mic and then be like, I gotta get out of here. This is dog. 
I'm going to pick this up because she's going to jump down and then also try to... She's going to get hammered on some peach palm. She might. She'd be a stinky... Peach palm. Sticky little mess. Bro, I've watched so much Bond. That's unfortunate. So much I have. Bond. There's a few movies that I do like. Sure. I watched one Octopussy, last night. Octopussy, good. The one I watched last night was it's my favorite so far. What one was it? No idea. Uh, the Spy Who Loved Me. That's a good one. Yeah. Um, Roger Moore is one of the better Bonds. He's if fine. I, I've seen a lot of them. I think I've only seen Goldmember with uh, my dad when I was younger, and then we watched more Roger Moore. Ro- more, more. What's is there someone after more between Daniel Craig? I think it's Tim. Before Daniel Craig is Pierce Brosnan. I've seen more of the Pierce Brosnan. That ones. makes sense. That's when you were like. Born. Well, that's when my no 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 no. That's, that's like that's what you would have been raised on. Uh, yeah yeah yeah. Yeah. I can't think of who's the middle. Is Dalton in the middle? I thought Dalton was one of the I earlier think, ones. I think Brosnan is the, the top dog. No, Daniel Craig's top dog. Well, yeah, I I said that to Al, me and Kaz. I was like, I don't mean to it, because they've been talking Bond Dude, since got, I've met them. He got flagellated with a fucking, like, morning star? Are you shitting I me? Was talk- I was talking, I sent it, I was like, respectfully, every Daniel Craig movie blows these the fuck out of the water. <laughs> Hundred. There, and then Kaz made a good um, point. Kaz was like, you got to account for a time. And, like, I've been trying to account for the time. I don't They're know, still man. not I'm, that good. I think that that's such a horseshit argument. Like, think, I think of for, it in the time. It's like, no, I'm fucking some, watching it right now. For some stuff, you do have to. For, like, practical, not practical effects. For effects type I, stuff. Again, I think that that's horseshit. Because <laughs> why would I watch a shitty movie from the 60s where I could watch fucking Skyfall that has one of the best opening chase scenes? Maybe of all time. Like, do you at least hear where I'm coming oh, from? I, listen. <laughs> Even when you account for the times, <laughs> the fucking Skyfall blows them out of the fucking water, dude. <laughs> like, yeah. I, I, mean, I don't know, man. Like, it really... I, I get the whole nostalgia thing, and I understand that I'm not, like, 57 years old like Almy. That's true. But... Like you also didn't get seven degrees in bondology like him, so like you have to take is that, that into one account. of his degrees. It's four, four of them. That's f- <laughs> out of he what? has one for Roger Moore, one for Connery, one for <laughs> <laughs> one for Timothy Dalton. He's got, he's got a uh, an associates in Daniel Craig. Though. He has an associates in Dalton. He wasn't around long enough for a full <laughs> full, full degree plan. Uh, <laughs> his doctorate's in Craig. <laughs> that was very funny. Yeah. <laughs> we should get him on the line. Almy? I'm, I might call get him. Get him on the line. Yeah, I'm going to get Almy on the line. Back to the plunge, maybe. And t- tell me, I need you to tell me why Sean Connery's bonds aren't a pile of garbage. <laughs> he's going he's gonna to say something out of pocket, like, because he, like, assaults women <laughs> in every sense <laughs> of the word. He assaults so many women. Physically, Roger Moore makes sexually... love. To, Roger Moore makes love to women more often. Connery assaults women. Roger Moore's more of a love maker. I'll give him that. We have an assaulter and then <laughs> a true gentleman. He's not going to pick up. Yeah, he hates us. I. It's fine. Um, you got to try. I'll send him a The issue is if he does pick up, he we're, we have 20 minutes of content covered. That's true. We don't even have to say a word. If he doesn't pick up, call Kaz and we'll talk shit because Almy doesn't pick up his phone. Cause I love Kaz, though. 91 years old. I don't want to make Kaz argue. No, no, no. It's not even arguing. Fuck. See, it's not arguing with Kaz. It's having a civil discussion. You see, Kaz can understand differing opinions is the thing. (laughs) I don't know why that felt like such a backhand. (laughs) Am I wrong? All right, we're calling the homie casual. We're going to get him on the line. I'll even say that to Kaz, and I bet he'll agree. Yeah, here, you can... I'll let you handle the. <laughs> I'm gonna touch the phone, and he's not gonna pick up. That's fine. You're the hunt. I am the hunt. I'm the stunt. Mm. I need to change my name on Instagram because it's still the stunt. <coughs> I've been the stunt in years. How do you plan to get any? Guys, <laughs> have a British dude. He is Bond. <laughs> he's got Money Penny. He might actually his... is he Q? Dude, he might be fucking M for all I know. <laughs> I do like that so far throughout they've kept the same M, Q, and Money Penny throughout all the actors. Money Except pe- that what? one. Did you know there are two Bond films that are non-canon? And Connery is one of them. Can I guess? 
Yeah. You only die twice. Is that the or you only live twice? Excuse that's me. That's the one from like eighty five, right? The like ten one. years after he his previous Bond. I I think it, it's maybe. old it's old the man la- Connery. The last one, super where he old looks man, gross. But yes, yeah. that is the one. That's sick as hell. If, I watched if, it. I will say, if that's the wrong name, that is the one that I'm thinking of. The last one where he's it's from eighty five. He's old and gross because there was one. I think it is you only live twice. Um, I got. I'll, if I'll I hit that, up. if I hit that on the head, I think he did. I brother. might actually revoke Almy's Bondology degree for uh, Sean Connery. You missed it. Um, it's never say never again. <laughs> <laughs> again, it's a sequel? look at that fucking cover photo. <laughs> That's fucking that disgusting. yucky man, Sean Connery, fucking yucking it up. That, he that... was. St- let me tell you, he was still getting bitches in that movie. <laughs> well, yeah, Mister Bitches. A.K.A. James Bond, not Sean Connery, doesn't not get bitches. Yeah, it was from eighty. Th- so let me tell you though, they did not because it was so. Eon, it's Eon is the company that puts all the Bonds on. Because I had to look it up because it's not. I have the twenty eight film Bond collection, so it's every Bond. From, After you finish this, I have a proposition for you. Sure. So can you can continue? So I I, I have the twenty eight film Bond collection, and I didn't know any of this, but I had to look it up because I was curious. Um, and I get to the final Sean Connery movie, which for some reason, so just on t- based on timeline alone, Sean Connery is like 64 to 72, right? And then he pops back up again once in 85, in 85. <laughs> but then Roger Moore is 73 to, to 84. <laughs> yeah. That's fucking crazy. So, correct. By the way. So then I was sitting there. I was like, uh, "This is weird." And then he, the movie wasn't in my box set. And my box set has literally every actor's Bond. Mo- it has every movie except for No Time to Die because it came out before that. No, t- like uh, Daniel, Daniel Craig's Craig. fi- yeah, yeah, finale. Yeah. So I was like, "That's fucking weird." When Shelby moves out, on um... <laughs> hey, <laughs> you should probably know this too. <laughs> uh, when she. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when she moves out, I might borrow your. Is it yeah. broken up by CD? Because I only no, ever it's saw... uh, it's by it's by like decade. So I only so, like, saw there's a, Casino there's a... Royale. Is Skyfall's second, right? Skyfall's third. Quantum of Solace is second, which you don't need to watch. Quantum of, so- Quantum I never... of Solace sticks. I kind of want to see it though. It's fine. It's probably still better. It's better than, than, than most. Yes, correct. You're you. correct. But I I think I definitely want to borrow that so that I can watch them because. Sure. I want to see is it Remy, Remy Malik. Remy she, Malik's in No Time to Die. Yeah, I, that's the shit that I want to see. Because it's it the one where it's the fun. one where he's thirty five and playing a man who, just by timelines alone, is like eighty three years old. That's nice as hell. <laughs> Dude, co- I don't know. I've seen some 75, 76 year olds that look like they could be fifty. Just putting <laughs> that out there. Dude, he's like thirty five year old Remy Malik, and they're like, he was alive and. <laughs> At the very least, an assassin level age during the Holocaust. You do with that <laughs> what you want. <laughs> like, this is released in 2020. Yeah, 2021. <laughs> now, we're not going to say anything, but are you going to say anything? They're like, I fucking dare you. <laughs> yeah, they're like, fucking try to tell me that 35 year old Remy Malik might be fucking 51 for all I know I have no fucking the only clue. thing I, uh, the <laughs> only other thing I know, so no 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 I don't I didn't even know that I'd seen that movie he plays Freddie Mercury yes. doesn't. <laughs> all right I'm gonna give over under 41 and a half I'll take the under on that he can't be 42 there's no way he's 42 I'm guessing at latest born oh. in 85 I almost set the line at 43 and a half. He's 43. Really? Yeah. Apparently he has a twin. Can you show me a picture of him? Yeah. Like, current day? This that can't Ram- be current it's day. Ma- yeah, that's him. Well, no shit. Show and me a, a picture twin. of him from, like, this year. <laughs> I said this year. <laughs> that's him this year, brother. That cannot He's be He's ugly him. as hell. I don't know what to tell you. You're, do you remember the game uh, <laughs> Until Dawn? Yes. He... Is, is that the fake? prison one? No, 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 no. no. Um, That's a uh, way out. I know until dawn. It's the the choose your own adventure yes. story that Tim made us play. Yes, in the cabin. Yes, the teenagers in the cabin. He is a face scan for the 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 main antagonist. 
Spoiler the main alert. Act, the the killer is Rami Malek. Can you open up your Google? I'd like, or just just Hold Google that. until dawn. Rami um, Malek. Remy Malik, yeah. It'll show you a character, and it's just essentially like, I don't know if it's teenage him or young adult him. Like, I don't know what the age of the characters in the game is, but, like, he... What the fuck? That's what I'm... And he voices him. Oh, I don't does know, he? Yeah, I don't know why he did it. Because this was not a big project. That's weird. It looks just like him. Right? <laughs> they did a good job, apparently. That he game, was the bad guy? Uh, kind of, for Josh. the most part, yes. Josh. Josh from Until Dawn. You find out in the beginning, his sisters die in the game. That sets off the events of the game. Oh, okay. But, like, the the whole thing, he plays like a, a he's cool the kid. murderer. Oh, it's yeah. like Scream, but he's the murderer. Yeah. But then there's, like, paranormal stuff. That, it, okay. Beside the point. Sure. But for 90% of the game, he's the bad guy. <laughs> you just don't know it. Sick as hell. That is sick. He's 43. He's 43. He still shouldn't be playing a, a Nazi age assassin. Is he a Nazi? I don't. It may have been Cold War, which the timelines still don't add up. <laughs> <laughs> if he was a Cold War aged That's assassin, only 60. he would still have to be like 65. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> which still. If you could participate in one war, what would it be? Uh, the future. <laughs> Take me to the future. It has to be uh, present uh, it, or past. No future. Uh, fucking. But it has to have like at, you're going into <laughs> active conflict. Fuck! I was about to say, dude, make me. I'll be a drone pilot. Yeah, <laughs> we're in modern day, no, you're brother. A, you're a foot soldier on the front lines. What war are you going to? I was just talking. I was just talking about this because. Uh, what side am I on? What the fuck does that mean? You're fighting for the U.S. Agent Agent uh, Orange. Agent Orange, brother. <laughs> <laughs> it matters. <laughs> you are fighting for the U.S. Army. Uh, Ura! Not Vietnam, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> not Korea. <laughs> yeah, but now let me ask. Do you want to go to Operation Desert Storm where you drive over an IED and lose your life? You sure don't. Or do you want to go to World War I? I'm thinking World War All you're wearing is just like a cargo suit jumper. I'm thinking World War I. I'm th revolutionary. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I forgot about Brother, those. Yeah. The War 1712, Mr. Madison's War. Dude, I'm going Civil War and I'm walking slow. <laughs> Why did you talk in slow mo? My brother in Christ. That's how slow I'm walking, brother. I'm in the back of the pack. I'm falling into the next troop. Can I tell you? Brother, the Civil War, they would deploy you over to fucking Kentucky. It would be like four months <laughs> you before you got seven there. Seven hours. Yeah, like Walk the by the time miles. you got there, they're like, dude, that battle ended seven weeks ago. You're like, fuck. I no, guess no, no, I'll, no. This is, I guess this, I'll go see, this walk is back to you Kentucky. Are the, you are the first wave of assault. Fuck. You're dude. not getting. You're out changing of this. me <laughs> because you I'm, are trying to weasel your way out of war. <laughs> yes, you fucking I am. deserter. Yes. You are. You have to see conflict. I work behind a computer for conflict. a reason. <laughs> Can I be honest? Yeah. I go to Vietnam. Why? Hear me out. You saw Gump. No, 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 no. You saw Forrest Gump once. <laughs> no, and you're like, no, Vietnam no, 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 looks no. pretty sick. No, They're no, no, playing no. that one song. It, no, 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 no. It's one of two things. It's Fortunate no, 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 Sons by CCRX. <laughs> Don't get it fucking twisted. Hold up. Do not continue. <laughs> um, do not continue. I'm gonna let you I'm gonna let you explain, but it needs background music. Are you playing the song while I go ahead. So Hear me out. I was talking about this at work. Can you imagine going to war with the fucking boys driving around in a tank named Fury and all you're doing is cracking jokes, <laughs> killing crowds, and fighting for your country. Coming home a goddamn war hero. It sounds pretty sick, does it not? Do you, does I'm going to go find that in the edits. <laughs> I don't often listen back <laughs> to my episodes. Dude, I'm going to go find that one. <laughs> the it's been about two <laughs> years since I've made a clip for TikTok. <laughs> we might have one on our hands. Dude, the U.S. Army is going to take that clip and use it as a commercial on YouTube, Hulu, I Netflix. Saw a, um, I saw a PSYOP uh, thing. Go on. 
like where uh, the the general public was like, I think I'm on. Fuck, I think I'm on to the U.S. government. Ain't no fucking way. They're starting to advertise to the whites. That's how you know whores. Why am I (laughs) trying? The whites love war. (laughs) What, dude? The the whites do love war. What What is the uh, the psyop that I'm thinking? The LSD and like jerking off dolphins and shit. (laughs) (laughs) You know what I'm talking about? (laughs) Do you not know? I, that's it. I, that's all I have. This is a good time to tell you this episode of the Plunge Podcast. <laughs> the broadcast is brought to you by the U.S. military, brother. <laughs> Take thirty-one Benadryl and meet your fucking demons, brother. Brother, can you imagine you're under duress? They're closing in on you and your tank, and you just taking thirty-one like Benadryl, Benadryl about forty-five minutes prior. You are currently. <laughs> Conversing with the hat man. <laughs> Dude, they're gonna find you. They were gonna take you prisoner. They're like, we can't fucking risk it. This guy's talking to the hat man. Dude, it's like it's like cocaine bear, but with Benadryl. Like cocaine, cocaine bear ate five pounds of cocaine. Benadryl bear. <laughs> <laughs> Benadryl bear might be the sequel to cocaine. Have you seen Cocaine Bear? Uh-uh. Highly recommend. It's fu- me and Sully hung out. <laughs> This was almost two years ago now. It was like the month that I moved back. He came back to see his parents, and we came back, and he brought either like a dab pen or edibles, and we got just <laughs> got really high and watched Benadryl Bear, and just watched Cocaine Bear. And then it, the movie ended. Oh no, that was sorry, that was Roommate Noah, Short King Noah. We got obliterated and watched Cocaine Bear. Okay, <laughs> we laughed through the whole thing. I bet. I'm not allowed to do drugs. I don't think I'd enjoy cocaine bear. It's not even about Pretty that. Pretty drunk it's... right now, though. That's nice. I gotta pour. I gotta finish this. Yeah, you gotta pour one out, my brother. Brother, I'm feeling it. Yeah. Zero food. I had like half a Kit Kat today. Like I said, I had like six of those under a tent. Dude, we were. And then you had grilled pizza rolls. I had a grilled pizza roll. Was it gas? No. <laughs> it was <laughs> not good. Let me tell you about the tail. So. When we left, it was a monsoon at our house. I was soaking wet when we left to head north for the concert. So the venue that's sick is for a country concert. That's good. Venue's vibes. about an hour away. So what I did, I don't need more. <laughs> I'm, I'm, mov- I'm moving your cup because my cord was wrapped around. Oh, okay. Um, so I had an easy up in the backyard because it's been like a hundred degrees all week, and so I went and I grabbed the easy up in the fucking monsoon. Uh, none of our chairs we were able to bring <laughs> because they were soaked. <laughs> All of our folding chairs were because there was also a tor- I don't know if you know there was a tornado yesterday. <laughs> Dude, I was sitting which in my, does not happen here. I was sitting in my computer. I th- I worked. Yes, I did work. What was yesterday? Sunday. I had a be a man moment. <laughs> you know the be a man. Be a man. Your back hurts. Bitch about it. Be a man. Be a man. Lauren was like, we have to go to the basement. There's a level 10 tornado warning right Dude, now. Dude, I saw that one. Ha! <laughs> and then kept watching my YouTube documentary. <laughs> so they went down to the ba- They brought all the animals to the basement. They brought the cages. That's why all these cages are down here. <laughs> and I was just upstairs watching Bond, <laughs> as I do. And I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? I did go down to because they were freaking out. And I was like, I just don't care enough. But for a moment, I was like, I'm not going downstairs. Pfft, be a man. You kind of were the man, though. You showed up, and you were you were the uh, you were the the path of harmony through the chaos. It's true. Sometimes you have to. Sometimes you have to be the bigger man to be the man. You know. What and I, I think I just hit you with a Japanese proverb. Right you may there. have. <laughs> <laughs> but then I went upstairs because it was like after six <laughs> fifteen. Only Brother, in effect. Do you know? Do you know what our source of news was that we were? We saw a What's couple th- things that we were like, I don't believe it yet. Do you know what artic- What we did see that we're like, we're in the clear? I think I know what you're about I'm, to say. If you guess this, I'm going to fucking le- end the show right now. Was it your neighbor's house getting struck by lightning? We'll get to that. No. That is it was the, different. It was the Manchester Dairy Queen Facebook account. They're like, hey, everyone, all clear. <laughs> <laughs> and I went, listen, you got to listen to the fucking Dairy Queen Facebook <laughs> That's the it's the biggest Dairy Queen in the country. You gotta listen to what they're saying. That's the craziest shit <laughs> I've ever. Heard we had gotten in my like life. official reports. They were like, "You should be good by now." 
We have about 28 minutes until the ga- the puck yeah, drops. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, you all, If you're at home right now and you're not following the South Main Street <laughs> Dairy Queen of Manchester, New Hampshire. I think you're doxing yourself right I'm now. I'm not. You're missing out. They're the number one Dairy Queen in the country. They'll just post. It's the best Facebook page is the South Main Street. I don't know, dude. Like the big, big Wendy's and big. No, dude. South Main Street. Dude, they run an ad. It's just the owner fucking around in his back office at the most popular Dairy Queen in the country. That can't be. Can you pull up their Facebook (laughs) and read me some posts? Because (laughs) Wendy's calling people like bitch made on Twitter and stuff. That's pretty good. No, so they have corporate good Twitter. This guy's like local hero good Twitter. It's a different ballgame. They're like a, literally just the AAA affiliate of fast food. Like they, you got Big DQ on Twitter. No, brother, the guy who runs all no, the brother, fast they're food fucking accounts. different sports. Look at this; it's just this guy, and he said, "Finally, we're number one." <laughs> that's the profile picture for Dairy Queen Grill and Chill. That's fucking Schmitty Werberman Jensen. That guy's number <laughs> right. one. Hey, dude. All right, Dairy Queen Grill and Chill, seven fifty and Second Street, Manchester, New Hampshire. That's the page he posted yesterday. The tornado goes. The storm cell is past Manchester, and everybody is safe. <laughs> the cell is minutes away from the Atlantic Ocean, where it will no longer be a threat. This storm still had the ca- <laughs> the storm cell had the capability of producing a tornado, but thankfully it did not. You can see the beginning of funnel shape, yada yada. That's nice. Uh, before that, the sky is angry. Everybody, <laughs> be on the lookout. <laughs> you post again. The sky is going to be angry tonight. Be careful, folks. Dude, sky big angry. Huge storms roll. This guy's the number one source of weather news. Dude, he might be our our number one meteorologist, Kevin Scarupa. Brother. Who? They posted a cone, a soft serve cone outside when it was 100 degrees last week. Said, who said three and a half minutes isn't a long time? (laughs) I don't know if you know Trailer Park Boys, but Leahy falling down his steps with a a cup of whiskey. You ever see the guy where it's like bangs into the side? They're just supporting their boys, too. Huge congratulations to our team who just quickly and professionally handled one of the biggest DT orders I've ever seen. What is DT? I don't know. As well as a sincere thank you to the customer. You know what they made? Over in just over nine minutes. Six, Ninety Sundays. Six chicken baskets, four burger combos, eleven bli- this is a real post. Eleven blizzards, <laughs> three sa- shakes, six sodas, one slush, fries, curds, rings. And that was for Greg the Wizard. All of it for one man. Oh, they're, they're great. Want to apologize to any of our guests who may have been stuck in our drive through line tonight around 8.50. Both of our DT terminals <laughs> completely lost connection. <laughs> okay. Is I sold, DT stand for Dairy Tech? Like, it, I don't know. This? I sold my boot, my blue Tesla that many have seen parked at the top of the drive through <laughs> It's nice. What the fuck, dude? Can you send that to me? I would like to follow that page. I'd never go on Facebook, but I would like a, a hearty chuckle. <laughs> the pollen is thicker than a snicker blizzard today. Have a Zyrtec on standby. <laughs> Yo, plunge pics of unorthodox, unorderable blizzards. <laughs> Question, do you think it's rude to smoke a cigarette while at the drive through window? <laughs> Can I be honest? <laughs> yes. No. Okay. I think good, it's fine. Good luck to our employee CJ and his wonderful girlfriend Cadence at their West High School prom tonight. <laughs> it's just a photo. That's fucking crazy. <laughs> Yo, go follow. Go follow the Dairy Queen. Do, are we going through Bond this week or do we not have enough time? We can go. We can fly through some bond. Uh, Kaz, Kaz just texted me back. I'm going to see if he's available. All right. He said, hit me. It's all you. Make sure you hold up to the mic. Dog, we have, <laughs> we have, ex- I don't remember what we were talking about. Bond. Roger Moore. Why What's is- up, Kaz? This is Hunter on the plunge. How are you today? I'm fucking great. How about yourself, son? I'm, I'm doing great. I've been, uh, I had a drink. We're getting ready to watch uh, the the replays of the <laughs> Game Seven of the, the Stanley Cup Finals. Okay. Uh, <laughs> we 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 wanted to call you because Almy didn't pick up 
and we I I have some beef with We want no, some, we don't have beef. We want an advocate for the early bond. I yeah. Okay. So my my thought process Sean this, Connery is a pedophile. Roger Moore makes love. Is that actually <laughs> <laughs> That's my thoughts. <laughs> hey, Connery was a little handsy. <laughs> no, 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 no. I got it backwards. Uh, uh, Moore is a little handsy, but he's also kind of suave. Yeah, so yeah. Connery's just a straight up fucking. Yeah, he's a straight up taker. He's a toucher. <laughs> the end of the Connery movies. Every like eighteen minutes, he would walk into a room, and a woman would be like, "Hmm, fuck." <laughs> Exactly. I must stop everything I'm doing in my life and sleep with this man. They would have whole ga- countries would create game plans around this man's penis, and the spy assigned to not fuck Bond would w- look at him once and then be like, "I'm gonna have to fail my mission. I just can't do it." <laughs> right? <laughs> well, Kaz, well, I, I want this man. Yeah. <laughs> so, Kaz, I I have. There's a philosophical quandary that I'm experiencing currently, and it's it has to do with the when you go back and you watch the Roger Moore, the Sean Connery, the Andy Timothy Dalton, Timothy Andy, Dalton. Andy Dalton's Dalton's the quarterback. quarterback. <laughs> yeah. Like when you go back and watch those, you got to watch them under the lens of this is what they had to work with at the time. But I think that that is all bullshit because if you watch the opening chase scene to Skyfall. It's maybe uh-huh. one of the greatest chase scenes in cinematic history. Yes. So I don't like, and I was gonna call Al, or I wanted to call Almy because I wanted to beef with him. But I think that you are, <laughs> you're more level-headed, and you can hear like both sides of. I know that you're you're a Bond guy. You like the older ones, which I have a fond place in my heart for some of them. It's right next to the kindness in my heart. And yeah, reach for it. Don't get me wrong. Like, I, I can appreciate the older ones. The newer ones are obviously better. Fucking what's his face is just a way better bond. But it's Daniel awesome Craig crushes. Daniel Craig yeah. does cry because they made him hard, though, bro. Like you know what I'm saying? Like the techniques, filming techniques, special effects. Like they made him hard. But you have, like you said, you you got to put yourself in the 1978 fucking Roger Moore fucking mode and be like. This is all we had at the time. And at the time, those movies were pretty much ahead of their time, man. You know what I'm saying? But they don't age as good. So Brother, that's, that's where, good. That's where no, I'm at with... I will gone. say, The Spy Who Loved Me ages tremendously. That boy had it on in that yellow that yellow ski suit doing fucking moves <laughs> oh, yeah. down the Alps. That boy did have oh, it on. Yeah. Have you seen? I'm telling you. That's the one, I think, Sean Connery that I didn't <laughs> No, it's Roger Moore. I mean, I, I he had an all-yellow right ski yeah. suit but and then some I red boots and gloves. To, I can't wait till you get to for your eyes only and for View to a Kill, man, because those are my two favorite Roger Moore uh, ones, and they're, they're, they're timeless. So those ones are great. And then in a View to a Kill, bro, Christopher Walken is the bad guy. Oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? I just watched the Octopussy yet? Um, no, that's way later. You should be close. He's probably like two or three. I think I am like two or three. three away. That's it. Might be next, actually. (laughs) Yeah, nice as hell. Yeah, they get they start getting better from there. Honestly, truthfully, it's because you know we're better. You're 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 now you're in the eight in the late seventies, early eighties, and the fucking film techniques are better. But Bond, they've always had like really good cinematography. Like they they give you all. Like everything you want, bro. They give you an awesome intro. They give you a great song. They give you fucking sex and fucking action. You know, I like. I mean, my, uh, you can't really ask for more, man. You I know, was watching. I was ask for Roger Moore. I was watching. <laughs> I was watching with my my weekend roommate Logan. And it was the man with the golden gun came on, and I jokingly before the song hit, I was like, "And he's the man with a golden gun," and like just yeah. jokingly was like, "This song's gonna be so fucking stupid." And then the song came on, and it was like, "Da da," and he's the man with the golden yeah. gun. <laughs> yeah, they stick to the they, they stuck to the script. Back then, they did. Bro. It was an honor. Yeah. It was an honor if you got picked to do a fucking True. Bond song, bro. They, you know they, what I mean? Like. They also had a formula. They stuck to it since, like, yeah, the 60s. <laughs> yeah. 
But no, dude, I, like I like that. I like the credit scene. Like every time I watch those, I'm thinking, like me, I'm sitting there looking like I'm like, yeah, I could do that. I, I like how there's always 15 minutes extra after the main guy dies where he goes and fucks around with the sidekick <laughs> for do, some reason. I do got to ask you, Kaz, if you had to pick one before Daniel Craig, one Bond movie, what is your number one of one for for old Bond or past Bond? Oh, man. Bro, I'm telling you, I, 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 I'd have to say, to me, it's a tie between the two I told you. You to a kill, which was actually Roger Moore's last one, so he's a little okay. bit older. But before because it's got Christopher. One, right? Yeah, yeah. It no, is be- after Sean Connery. No, no, no. It's, it's, yeah, it's before Sean Connery's non-canon Bond film. Oh, yeah. Never yeah, say never again. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's a. I would see that's where Almy would come in handy because I bet you he knows the whole fucking story about that. Well, yeah, he's got an apparently associate, he's got an associate's yeah. degree in Bondology. <laughs> Bondology, bro. Yeah. He is, dude. <laughs> but yeah, no. You two would kill this great, and um, uh, never for your eyes only, because for your eyes only, it has like. Action in every element. It fucking. starts with fucking. I think it starts with snow, goes to water, goes to air. They do all go to water to and air, dude. Like in, in this, in, in for your eyes only, bro. There's a part where he's getting chased, and they're like somewhere where they're doing like Olympic stuff, and there's like a luge, and this That's motherfucker's sick. skiing on one ski, and he's in the luge. And he's getting followed by motorcycles that can fucking ski. And dude, it's just, <laughs> this is fucking. I do. Oh, li- it's great, dude. The thing that I. Anyone who has beef, the, anyone who like makes fun of Fast and Furious, I just dare them to watch an old Bond movie because there the are same some thing. ridiculous things in them. Like the the yeah. jetpack at from Russia. I, keep I think forgetting. it's from Russia with love. Yeah. The jetpack at the beginning. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. I'm still mad. I walked into this question. Let me ask you guys this question. See, like, between, like, all of us who have these Bond conversations, everybody says that, what is it, Skyfall? Yeah. That's one out of all of them. You guys agree with that? No, I think. I have the most unpopular opinion of all time. I love Spectre. Okay. The intro to Spectre is my favorite intro of all time. Not just because it's in Mexico, but because... (laughs) Is that the because one with Anna Darmus? Yes. Los Muertos shit. Yes. Los Muertos, that mask that he's wearing, bro. You know, I've almost bought that mask on eBay like multiple times. So, Kaz, Dude, I, Kaz both I'm so happy. I found another one like me. Kaz, <laughs> I have to say, yes, I haven't dude, seen Spectre's, Spect- Spectre's intro is the best to me out of all the intros. It just has Anna Darmus in it for like 15 minutes, and you're like, that's all I get? Oh, yeah. It leaves you wanting more Anna Darmus. So Kaz, mm. I I may I am subject to change. I have only seen that I can remember Casino Royale. I don't think I saw Quantum of Solace, Skyfall. and then I saw Skyfall. Yeah. That is the only yeah. reason I think that I would say because Skyfall's opening scene is way better than uh, Casino Royale, which they're all good, I'm sure. Yeah, but I haven't seen Spectre, and I haven't seen No Time to Die. I don't know, dude. Casino Royale oh. doesn't or no. Uh, <laughs> Skyfall doesn't have him with his balls out getting fucking whipped well, in the nuts. That, hey, that's the Mads end. Malcus- <laughs> that's the end of the movie. That's not an opening scene. Bro, I'm telling you, man, Spectre's opening scene. Like, if you really watch it and appreciate the cinematography, it's like one of those movies. Like, what was that war movie that was like? I think it was like 1917, where they said yeah, it was you, all yeah. like one, one shot, shot. Yeah. Like that's how this one was, dude. It shows him walking outside, also into the hotel, into the elevator, into the room, out of the balcony, onto the the building, and then fucking pumps his fucking pumps out his little put together fucking uh, what do you call it? A fucking sniper rifle and shit. Not to mention, it has fucking falls. It has Christoph Waltz playing Ernst Blofeld, brother. What are we talking about? Yeah, and bro. it's Blofeld. Hey, he was, he was Thank you villain. very much. But the way they fucking did him in fucking, uh, yeah. whatchamacallit, in was no time to die. Yeah. No, hey, no, yes, no dude, spoiler! Like, right, this motherfucker's powerful. in a cage. There you go. <laughs> they were the most powerful thing out there, and all of a sudden this motherfucker takes them all out. James Bond's not swoop. done, is he? It's just the end of the Daniel Craig era. Da- Daniel Craig's yeah, done. That's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> no time to die. Certainly ends with him dying. 
There's there no time. That, there was a rumor that Idris Alba was going to take over that. for Bond, and I would have. Idris I Alba would be that, such man. a good Bond. That would have been cool. Well, the other one I heard is like they have the lady who's the girl who's in. It's uh, Tessa uh, Thompson. No time to die. Yeah. Yeah, she's she, apparently she's supposed to take over as Bond. You know what I mean? But everybody's like, yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. Brother, we had Agent Triple X. What are you talking about? You can have women special agents. Well, you can have special agents, right. but I feel like Bond is. Let's talk Dude, about. I had to go back and watch that when I heard your review on it. I totally <laughs> forgot about him. Agent going Triple up X, and brother. Up a fucking satellite just to watch a fucking soccer game. Like, dude, oh. holy shit! I forgot all about that. I forgot I saw, about. I was dying laughing. Too. Oh my god, <laughs> that's classic, bro. Classic shit. I think we got to throw oh, yeah, Kaz man. on the featuring hood di- Kaz from the Hood Diner on this week. Yeah, <laughs> well, that's what we were talking about. Like, we can either have Almi on the beef or Kaz on to have a uh, nice a re- conversation. No, a reasonable conversation. Right? <laughs> yeah, I'm, t- I'm telling you, man. The second you watch For Your Eyes Only, let me know what you think. I am excited. Well, so, it's- like, I just finished The Spy Who Loved Me, and I think it's been my favorite of the 11 I've watched so far between Moore and Connery. So, I. It- it's yeah. looking up for, for more. I don't think you're going to like my proposition. Yeah. Should I do it with Kaz? Uh, License to Kill is my favorite. License to, to, to Kill is good. License to Kill is really good. Was Dalton, shit, Dalton like, between like Moore and Brosnan? No, I thought Dalton yeah. was. Yeah. No. He was? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was I didn't between th- Moore and Brosnan. Dude, you know what's great about License to Kill? I can't remember the guy who plays the villain, but he has like all these craters on his face. He's been in so many different movies. But dude, you get to see a young ass Benicio Del Toro <laughs> as his number one henchman. Yeah, dude. So good. So good, dude. The henchmen go Wait, crazy. Is, is Benicio Del Toro that yeah, I... Like, it's so funny. Like, I don't remember almost any of the actual bad guys. I remember all of the henchmen. I wish I had... Who's right? your favorite henchman, and why is it fucking it's Odd Nick Job? <laughs> no, it's Odd Job. Brother, it's Nick Knack. <laughs> it has to be Odd Job. You don't, you don't know about Nick Knack. Odd Job is fucking gangster, bro. See? Uh, dude, Nick Knack's just midget Odd Job. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Dude, Oddjob is true. maybe one Dude, of my I favorite want, characters in media. He's fucking off, crazy. I want a spinoff movie with Jaws and Nick Knack, where Nick Knack rides around on Jaws' shoulders. <laughs> Just fucking people up and yeah, shit. Dude. <laughs> Yeah, dude, I don't know, I don't know who good, Jaws right? is, but Knickknack and Jaws. Yeah, all right, do you want ja- this shout out, Kaz, for this? Do you know the old angry giant guy from Happy Gilmore? <laughs> it's him <laughs> as a young man, but his mouth is made yeah, out of see? metal, and he bites people Dracula style in the neck. To That's kill sick him. as hell. And also, he dies. I don't know, twenty five times in the movie, and every he time he just back. walks off unscathed. <laughs> Right, he was in what, like two or three at least, right? I, I don't. He fell I, like seven hundred feet in a car accident into a house, and then just walked out the front door. Of the house. Yeah, <laughs> he got kicked out of like a moving train too. Yeah. I think. <laughs> he got kicked out of the moving train. Well, before he got kicked out of the moving train, he took an electrical current to his metal teeth, and then got kicked yeah, out did. into a yes. metal fence. That's just fucking Logan. Just brushed it off. Dude's just fucking Wolverine and Logan. Exploded, dude. Like, <laughs> that kind of conduction in your mouth, dude. No. You yeah, he broke. Roger Moore broke a lamp. So this guy's teeth are pure metal, right? Roger okay. Moore broke a lamp and then put the electrical current onto his tooth while he was about to On bite his him. Teeth. Yeah, and he just fucking he fried and then <laughs> ate it. <laughs> Just ate it. Well, Dude, Kaz, th- thank yeah. you for your input. Yeah, thank you for joining us this week, Kaz. Absolutely. Anytime, man. We're about to go uh, watch Hunter try to become a champion. I already am. Yeah. yeah. We're recording this for Tuesday, so we're just going to hope that Hunter's uh, Edmonton <laughs> Oilers won tonight. If not, we're going to release a Stanley supplemental Cup. 15 minutes of just – Sad me news. crying. Yeah. Well, good, well, good luck to them, man. Yeah, it's I'm like gonna get Hunter stuff. really drunk, and if they lose, I'm gonna record later tonight. Him sad. I'm just gonna be <laughs> sobbing yeah, on yeah. Riley's couch. Content, baby. Content. It's all about the content. Meanwhile, oil I'm country. Here, I'm here in my Celtics jersey, celebrating, living life. <laughs> <laughs> right. Hunter's gonna be all no. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thank you. Guys. That was we'll the most perfect sentence. <laughs> all right, brother. Peace. <laughs>
That was the most targeted sentence I've ever heard. We got also, we're doing. gonna have to push Bond to next week because I saw that it is eight fifty or seven fifty. It's seven fifty. Let me see when Puck Drop is. I thought it's eight. It has to be eight because it's, it's the in Stanley Florida. Cup. It's in Florida. What's your point? It's a Stanley Cup. Be eight. Eight. It's a Stanley Cup, brother. My brother in Christ. It's uh. It's eight. Uh, let's see. Yeah, they don't say. Yeah, we can do that. You, did we'll you do- not just open the ESPN app? I have the score. Of? The app, the score. Do you have ESPN? It's eight. <laughs> it's eight, brother. We'll do a full... I hate it We'll here. do a full Connery and more next week. I'll probably spin Dalton. Who fucking knows? So, this is actually yeah, a good, no, a good end way to proposition. I don't want it. I'm going to finish more like a man. My proposition... Okay. We've... And I say, we, I will watch the, you are only, you can watch whatever you want in the meantime. I will be required to be here when you want to finish the rest of the Bond movies. And it, it, as long as I am not at work, I will drop what I'm doing (laughs) and come to your house to watch Bond. If we watch. It sounds like the rest of the Roger Moore. The rest. And I don't mean Roger Moore. Every single you one. We're just we're finishing Bond through Brosnan and Dalton. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Yeah. That's assumed through Brosnan, meaning like up to Daniel Craig. Do I get new spins in the background? Yes. This I'll take the- that. That would be a good bonding. That would be nice for us. Yeah. I'll take that. But okay, so I can't watch Bond without you, though. You cannot watch Bond without you. But I also, if I have plans to do something else, <laughs> what's wrong with you? I have to drop what I'm no, doing. No, I won't inconvenience no, 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 no. your life. That it, that it. Oh, so we're finishing this quick. We're finishing this <laughs> okay. quick. We're spending the if I'm weekend. Like, <laughs> if I'm like, I got to leave, you're like, motherfucker, I'm putting on Octopussy right now. I am just, I am stuck at your house watching for as long as you can tolerate. <laughs> I have to throw one thing in there then. So the next, once we finish... Uh, Let's see. Okay, once we finish Lunch. Roger Moore, we do have to go throw on On Her Majesty's Secret Service, starring George Lazenby. It's a one-off. I feel like we need... Is this the other non-canon bond? No, it's canon. It was just... It went... <laughs> this what is, is gonna, dog doing? This is going to piss you off. He probably sees his reflection. Well, it's a girl, so... Yeah. You're, this is going to piss you off. It goes, Connery, Connery... Connery, 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 George Lazenby, Connery, <laughs> and then more, 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 more. Dalton, Dalton, Timothy Dalton only has two. That's crazy. He only has. Wait, really? So, all right, so let's just make that pact. Timothy Dalton also includes starting with Lazo. George Lazenby. Or Lazenby. I think that's fair. Then. Yeah. Shake on it. Shake on it. So that means we have... Hey, baby girl. All right, so that means you and I together... It's actually not as many movies as you'd think. What is it, seven? It's, <clears throat> we have three mores left. So we have Moonraker, For Your Eyes Only, and o- Octopussy, and A View to Kill. Four remaining Roger Moores. The Living Daylights and License to Kill for Timothy Dalton. And then Goldeneye, Tomorrow Never Dies, Goldeneye, The World Is Not Enough, so good. and Die Another Day from Pierce Brosnan. Goldeneye, Goldeneye might actually be So we have 10. We have 10. Fi- yeah. Uh, 11. George Lazenby's For Your Majesty's Service. Would you be able to... You want do you to watch bring Craig it? with you? Huh? You can watch Craig with me. Uh, you don't have to. I was going to say... say? Uh, this Friday, my parents are leaving for a cruise. Shelby moves out Saturday, and then I'm stuck at home watching the dogs all week okay do you want to come over watch some some bond at my house maybe we'll see i have some you can bring winnie i'll talk to you after we're gonna fi- i gotta figure out my weekend plans this weekend word bird uh, maybe in new york i don't know yet so we'll, yeah we'll... just let me know if you want to well if we're gonna hang out next week we'll have to hang out at my house because i don't want to leave the dogs you alone have a dvd player week. i'll bring the playstation i can Fine. bring my playstation okay you have a playstation that's right Give yourself a spin. So now that this, you oh, have accepted this proposition. I've accepted the prop. You get a spin. 
This is exciting. But I have to, you're going to have to let me spin as keeper of the wheel. I'm going to I'm going to go walk o- I'm going to go walk over there. Oh Are you God. leaving off cam? Yeah. You're going to give me the fucking thing and <laughs> that's it. <laughs> and that's it. We wrap. Oh, you're going to the computer. I'm going yes. to the computer. Yeah, We're yeah. going um, fuck, I hit the Charmin ad. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let me, oh, I was removing directors and shit from the movie, wasn't I? Did you not? I thought you did the last time. I did, I must not have saved. What the fuck? Uh, oh God. I can take all the, I can take all the bond off the list. Yeah, just take all the bond off. Yep. Planet of the Apes new, that can go. Wheel maintenance has not been done. I did do it. No, 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 that one's on me. I did do it though. Did you, uh, yeah, no, you're right. I updated Blade Runner, gone. Planet of the Apes, old, gone. Hi, Winnie. Winnie. Hi, baby. wonder if I have to save somewhere. Probably. Save. Save. There's yeah. a save. All right. Godzilla old. That's going to suck when I, when I spin Godzilla old. What a broad fucking. I don't know, man. At this point, I'm happy because, like, I just come out. I've gotten out of the habit of just like being depressed in my office. And yeah. Now I'm just here. Yeah. I'm excited for Godzilla. Godzilla old will be interesting. Gojira. Do we have uh, Austin Powers on the list? I don't think we do. Have you seen them all? No. Really? I think I, I even if I have, I'd like to see him again. I'm adding him to the wheel. This, that's fine. Okay. The spy who shagged me. I'd like old to see. Now that I know that they're spoof. Man of Mystery. Can I be real stupid with you for a second? You I didn't did. know that they were spoofs of James Bond. No idea. That's <laughs> ridiculous. Had no idea. Because I think the last time I saw them was when I was maybe like eight. Because they were hits then. Well, you, that's uh, when they when were. When did they come out? They were huge. It had to have been like 2005 ish. Was probably that's the cool. last one. What did the first? Is the first one? It's got to be like 2001. All right, I've uh. It I've does s- have one of my favorite gags in. All right, I've saved the wheel. Thank you, everybody, for listening. Thank you. I'm gonna go watch eleven <laughs> eleven years, Bond movies. Uh, no, no, eleven years in the making. The Oilers win a chance. Eleven? Has it been that? Is that how been, long you've been a fan? Yeah. Oh hell yeah! That's Congrats. what I'm saying. Thanks, brother. All right, I'm going to give you my phone. I'm going to get off screen. Well, you let me know what I get. Oh, turn the volume off. Uh, how do I put the volume on? Do I have to, f- do I have to flick on your... Hold on. Oh. Yeah, that one doesn't count. You, I think you might be upset about that. It is Godzilla old. No, it's not. <laughs> you gonna skip? No. You're taking it? Yeah. Okay, you heard of that? You heard it? See you next week! Ah! <laughs>